was smoking all my dragons, divine righteous, almighty greats, overachieving, never slacking. We back, shout out to the army, we got BTS, Hip Hop Lovers Live, and I'm excited to get into this because I really loved and enjoyed what they did with this. I love the raw authenticity, I love how they repped hip hop and just, it, and they bring talent to the table, you know, just real authentic, genuine talent and love for the craft. So with that being said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Original link will be in the description. <clears throat> Let's hop right into this. Let's go. Ooh, look at that crowd real quick though. Let me just say this for someone who's rapped on stage a lot, right? And <clears throat> it, it's not easy. And I'm I'm a fast rapper too. Like I have a lot of different styles, but um it's there's nothing easy about that. There's nothing easy about that. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll put up a video of me rapping live or something. You know, just 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 to show like I've been there, so I know. You know, obviously not at what a what a crowd that massive, but um, it's not easy to to rap like that live. Like it's it's really not. I give these guys the credit seriously. <laughs> They are true performers. Shout out to RM for spitting like that and getting through that verse. I know that wasn't easy live like that. They are true performers. I really appreciate this. They really, they do this. <laughs> He's absolutely killing that. He is killing that. And like just the swagger, everything is there. You know, um I I, I appreciate this because it's like they're, they're, they're about, like I keep saying, they're about the craft. You've got to respect it. Like, nowadays, the stuff I hear on the radio and or I see, the you know, the mainstream stuff in America is always about killing, always about selling, you know, drugs and just, or, or, or fast money, uh, you know, degrading women a lot of the times. Like, it's just, it's always about just things that are just toxic and tax your soul. So to see them rep it, Knowing they're going to be judged by that world and still rep it and do their thing, that's all that matters. And for that, they got they got my full respect. <laughs> And I didn't say this in the other reaction, like, rest, rest in power to Mac Miller. They, you know, rest in power to Biggie, Tupac, every, everybody naming that's gone. But uh, Mac Miller, he was more of a recent death. It was a, he was he was my age. He was from Pittsburgh. And the the for, the, for you, for, for those of you that don't know, the, 
the influence in that that whole Mac. I'm getting see, I'm getting excited. Like you ever feel that like energy, just that feeling, right, of excitement because y'all bringing me to high school now, and and in my in my early twenties, and it's like that whole Mac and Miller wave was just mind blowing. You know, me being 29 now and looking back, it's like those were really good times. And like I said. I'm in the same age group as um, as BTS, so I know I know what they're saying. You know when they, when you mentioned Mac Miller, like and then and then after Kendrick Lamar, I was 19 when Kendrick Lamar really like popped off, and I remember I was working in Manhattan doing delivery food deliveries, and the song that was popular at the time was Swimming Pools. If you guys remember Swimming Pools by Kendrick Lamar, and just that time period was so special. It was awesome. So I feel where they're coming from, right? I feel where they're coming from. Even J. Cole, what they said about J. Cole, he was he was popping at that time too. Look how they're into it, though. That's really, like, drawing me in right now just to see how much they're into it and how they got the crowd rocking. Like, that's drawing me in. Like, wow. You know, they're not talking about nothing toxic right now. They're talking just everything they're talking is positive and the crowd's rocking like that. You know, this is a message to, to those out there. You don't have to be negative. You don't have to follow the trends. You can be yourself. I don't know about y'all, but I felt the love and the passion in that live performance. I felt the, I felt it, and it's just coming from where I come from. It's amazing to see these South Korean guys rep so hard like that, represent hip hop so hard with you know people who seventies and the eighties really planted that seed to see it like now. You know, planted that seed out of the Bronx, um, just to see see what it's grown into. It's just amazing and see that it still lives through through people like them that and and they're just as as far as like musicians they are mind blowing i mean they they're memorizing these lyrics and just doing song after song like that i mean these guys are just they they're incredible seriously man i'm 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 very impressed and i i'm 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 not i'm not ashamed to say i'm 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 definitely part of that bts army i'm not ashamed to say that i don't really don't care I don't care. You know, I'm not ashamed to say that. I got much respect for these guys. I really do. Um, so that was Hip Hop Lovers, BTS Live. Absolutely incredible. Love the passion. And you could tell they were they really were feeling that song. Like they were really, you know, that was that meant something for them to write that. You know? Um 
Whew. So with that being said, uh, original link, if you guys just want to watch the original video, will be in the description. Also, once again, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so um, click that link at the bottom that amazon link if you want to buy some bts merch or if you want to buy anything if you just want to scroll as long as you do it th do it through that link it still counts for your boy so um much love to everybody and i'll be back with more appreciate you guys